Well, the day is winding down. The sun is about to set. We got those beautiful clouds up there. Maybe we'll get a thunder bumper tonight. And I'm tired, it's been a long day. You know, I quite often when I sit and talk to you, put on a clean shirt and comb my hair. But as I said, it's been a long day. I've been working today. You know, quite often I get comments on my channel here from you guys, some of you guys, that say you like my channel because I'm for real. <laughs> you know, I have a silk suit. I saved it just in case. A silk suit and a pastel blue shirt and a royal purple tie with a matching purple handkerchief for the pocket, a Black Hills gold tie clip. There was a time when that was my life. Not anymore here in Mexico. I love just being me. <laughs> and this is it. It's the real me. I'm very comfortable with who I am. And I don't know if that comes from living for 76 years and finally figuring out who you are or just getting to the point where you realize that it doesn't really matter what other people think. It kind of does, but uh, it's nice when somebody says something nice to you or you get a compliment. But you have to balance that with the people who decide they don't like you. And in the case of making YouTube videos, you know, you get comments about, I got one the other day said, uh, um, he's just a grouchy old guy. <laughs> I don't think of myself as a grouchy old guy. Um, I might come through that way occasionally, I guess. Maybe all of us would. But again, and I've said this several times, comments like that don't define me. They simply define the guy who wrote the comment. And it's my guess. I don't know the guy, but it's my guess that he either is a grouchy old guy or he's going to become one if he's fortunate enough to live long enough. You know, life is like a mirror. You pretty much see what you are. Well, I'll uh, clean myself up and talk to you some more in the morning. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Hi friends, good morning. Well, I thought I'd start out today by sharing a couple of news items with you, which you may be interested in if you're coming to Mexico as a tourist or planning to stay longer. For many years, uh, Mexico's used a piece of paper uh, called an FMM for tourists, that shows that you're in the country legally. So when you're coming by plane or if you're stopping at one of the places where you have to check in, coming into the country by car, on the plane they'll give you a form. And you fill out the form and it's your immigration document, uh, also called your, your travel visa. It's your permission to be in the country legally. A lot of other countries... Uh, all the other ones that I've been to, uh, they don't use paper. They just take your passport and they stamp it. And then if anybody in that country wants to know if you're there legally, you just show them your passport and it's got a official stamp and a date that you came into the country. Well, Mexico has always been a little bit different and uh, they use paper. Well, there's been some a policy change in the last year where instead of the standard 180 days to visit the country that anybody ever got, always got, 
Um, and this was like, there's been a lot of YouTube videos made about it, the big brouhaha back in Cancun, where the immigration officials and local police were harassing people because they'd overstayed their limit to be in the country. And then immigration, when you're coming into the country, had a policy that um, you had to show a hotel re uh, reservation. You could be in the country a week or two weeks or three weeks, and they will only give you that many days. And then immigration officials would harass you and fine you if you stayed uh, in the country. One YouTube video I saw was from a German who got thrown in jail for days uh, because he had overstayed his visa. Well, it turns out that there's a new policy, and it's in the uh, Guadalajara Reporter last week. I'll read you the headline. It says, INM, that's the uh, Mexican Immigration Authority, switches FMM forms for passport stamps. So, apparently, Mexico has created a new policy where they're going to go digital instead of this old paperwork thing. Uh, instead of having this FMM form, they're going to just, like every place else, stamp your passport and you have a date and they will write in there how many days you have. But the report from people arriving from the United States in Guadalajara is that, I'll just read this, according to several arrivals, uh, passengers who recently came into Guadalajara from the United States as tourists, immigration agents checking their documents at the airport took away their FMM paper immigration forms and stamped their passports instead. That's a good deal. Bienvenidos de Mexico. Uh, the article goes on to say that it doesn't say anything about those of us who are permanent or temporary residents of Mexico, legal residents. When I go to the airport to leave the country, I have to go to a special window. It's an immigration office window at the airport, and I give them this piece of paper, and they stamp it and check my passport and my official immigration uh, card that shows that I'm a permanent resident, legal resident of Mexico. And I take half of that when I leave Mexico, and then I use the other half to come back in when I come back into Mexico. Well, it doesn't say anything about people who are legal residents if we're going to have to continue to do that. But whatever, we'll find that out later. So that's one news item uh, that I thought uh, you ought to know about because it's been a real controversy and about uh, are you going to get enough days to stay in Mexico or not. The other one is about a water spout. And if you don't know what a water spout is, a water spout is a tornado that sucks up water out of the lake. And here in Mexico, they call them colibres, which is the word for snake. So it's like a water snake. And the last really big one here uh, on the North Shore of Lake Chapala was in 2012. Up in the racket club, a colibra sucked all the water that it could hold out of the lake and took it to the top of the mountains and dropped it, and it washed down boulders the size of cars and took out houses. Uh, the Racket Club is an area where there's a lot of houses built up in the ravines of the mountain. And um, on the main road going up in there, the mud was six to eight feet deep. And big boulders, like I said, took out houses um, in 2012. I went and helped clean out a, uh, an orphanage. And I cl helped clean out the dormitory, and they had bunk beds, and the mud in the building was up to the bottom of the top bunk. That's how deep the mud was in the dormitory for the orphanage in uh, San Juan Cosala. Anyway, uh, I didn't get a picture of it. My neighbor did call me and say, hey, look out the window, and I saw the water spout. But somebody got a picture of it. It's in the paper here. See that? It's a tornado sucking water up out of the lake. This one didn't cause any problems uh, that we know of. I think it just dissipated and dropped the water back in the lake. But Anyway, that's the two things I thought you might be interested in today. The rest of my video is going to be about a project I'm just finishing up. 
I've been rearranging my laundry room. Now let's see what's going on. I've decided to rearrange the laundry room. Unlike just moving the couch around in the living room, I'm moving the electrical box and I'm moving the dryer vent and I'm moving the gas line. Inspiration for that was that this old wall um, was kind of falling apart, so I'm knocking all the loose stuff off of it down to the bricks where it needs to be knocked off and we'll re-concrete it. The pounding is one uh, exposing the outside of the gas line, making enough room in there to get a wrench on it. You pensa it's necessary a mass a key? Yeah, por. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So this is what we're doing about the shiny wall that the new plaster won't stick to. We're putting chicken wire. and uh, nailing it to the wall so that when we plaster it, the plaster sticks. Good morning. Well, I'm gonna work on the gas line this morning. So I'm going out here to shut the gas off. That's my well. It goes down there about 30 feet. Oh, looky here, it's about time to order gas. Juan's over there mixing up more cement. A sad thing happened here last night. Uh, I feel really bad for Lynn. The leaf cutter ants got into her beautiful flowers. Nothing but sticks left, just sticks. They don't like that stuff apparently, but her flowers are just decimated. Look at this. Yesterday there were bunches of these and now there's sticks. It's really sad. No, not, not a leaf left there. And now we get to my mint. I'm gonna show you a before picture right here. And then I'm gonna show you this morning's picture of the mint I transplanted. Nothing left. What's this? That's not mint. So sad. been gone for a couple hours and 
Well, I made some progress. Looks like the chicken wire is holding well. It'll all get smoothed out. He's good at this. This part of my house has been here for, I think, over 80 years, and it is adobe, but it's adobe laid on edge. If you look at how thick the wall is here, you can see it's maybe six inches. This is an adobe wall. You can see the difference. <laughs> how much wider it is because it's adobe laid this way instead of this way and I believe I believe there's a word for that one cuando ladrillos es aquí allá es cappuccino cappuccino así y así soga soga así soga y cappuccino así cappuccino okay. cappuccino so this is adobe cappuccino see mm -hmm. Making some progress on the laundry room. The garbage can is helping me clean out that cupboard. Got the washer and dryer moved, plumbed. Ran a load of wash, everything's good. I have this one out from the wall a little bit because I'm primering a rust spot there. I'm gonna repaint the top. This blue is taped up. Built a place to hang above the folding table. Um, got that wall refinished. All up there, all refinished. This is the wall that Juan was working on, replastering it. Looking good. We got this all cemented in and sealed and got the dryer vent thing installed. It's all coming along fine. Well, come on back next week. We're going to be working on some salitre. Time to do the annual salitre fix up all over the house. And I've got a couple other projects going too. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.